hello and welcome to another episode of Something Something Chat Show with Tom Jr. Jackson presents After the Show Review, Episode 7 of She-Hulk, Tony at Law. And I am, as always, your host, Tom Jr. Jackson. Good to see you again. Uh, as always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe to not only my channel, but the channels that I got listed down below in the descriptions. Uh, please check out Positive Fandom, the site that is ran by RM, who does unboxings and she does reviews such as movie reviews, television reviews, out of the theater movie reviews. And also, she does watch alongs as well, uh, once in a while, and trailer reviews or reactions. Trailer reviews and reactions, I should say. And also, every Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific, please check out Sunday Morning Brunch Live on the Positive Fandom YouTube channel, hosted by RM and Russ. Whitfield, where they parlay in all of the pop culture in the news that is fit to report. So please do that. Check them out. If you have a YouTube channel or if you have a um, Instagram or anything you want to promote, come let them know and they will promote it for you because at positive fandom they believe in embracing the creator and uh helping out the creator and whatnot because if you can't give someone the a pay it forward by acknowledging their channel or what they do if you like it you know you you have to pay it forward in some ways. It's got to be done. You know, and it just shows that you care and that you like them. And also, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to her channel. Watch some of her stuff because she is uh, trying to get her, she's almost there with her hours uh, to become monetized on the channel. So please uh, go there watch some uh put on a playlist on your laptop and let it go for a bit just play a playlist let it play in the background and she will get those hours in and i want to say also check out the post geek singularity why do i bring it up because rm also is on two shows on that network uh she is on midnight musings with the host and proprietor of the channel your captain, Robert Meyer Burnett. Uh, Midnight Musings with uh, Robert Meyer Burnett, along with RM and Lael Rockwell of the One Sixth Scale Man YouTube channel. Check out that channel as well. Um, and she also has, there's a new show on the Post Geek Singularity YouTube channel called Ladies of the PGS, hosted by RM. And that is every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So go watch it, join it, join in the discussion on in the chat as well. Uh, the Post Geek Singularity also has such shows besides Midnight Musings as uh, Midnight Metal, uh, Let's Get Physical Media, Fully Articulated, and uh, whining about movies, which at some point is coming back. You keep hearing it's coming back, but it will be back. And Observations, hosted by the captain, your captain, Robert Meyer Burnett, director of the film Free Enterprise, which someday hopefully will get a Blu ray and 4K release as well. So good luck to you on trying to get that done, Robert. We're all pulling for you. Now, 
let's get on to the show at hand. By the way, as I always, all those links are down in the description below. Um, episode seven of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. This episode is called The Retreat. And in it, um, Jessica, no, Jennifer Walters um, has to go. Uh, she goes on some dates with a guy, and the guy ghosts her in a way. She, she's trying to get a hold of him. She can't care for him. He doesn't get a hold of her. And then um, she is asked to go and check on uh, Emil Blonsky, who is known as the Abomination from the Incredible Hulk movie. And she goes to check on him and she ends up stuck at the retreat. And I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was different because um, Jen was put herself on the line. She she put herself out there and they, the people that were at this retreat ended up um, giving her a, a therapy session in a way to help her see her style for herself. And it was a, it was a funny episode. It was, it wasn't a filler. I don't think it was a filler episode. It, 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 it was a fun episode. It, it, what I like about the series is that it's not conventional. It's not what you're expecting. And I like that. It's out there. It's different. It's fun. And I don't see all this, quote, man hate that people say that there is in the show. And I don't have a problem with it because, and this is just my opinion, as I said before, with all my reviews and whatnot, you don't have to agree with them and you don't have to like them. And it's okay if you disagree, as long as you respect that someone actually has an opinion. You gotta respect those opinions. Because if you don't, you fly off the handle and it's not pretty. Um, here's the thing, I don't go into any show or a movie with expectations going, oh, well, X, Y, Z is going to happen, and I can't wait to see this happen. And you can speculate about it if you want. You can go, well, I hope to see X, Y, Z. And that's fine. But when those expectations turn into something else, that turn into this thing that you see in your, in your mind, and then you see it on the screen and it's not what's in your mind. And you get upset and you're like, well, this show sucks. You, you can't do that. Because it's, you're setting yourself up for disaster. You know, just enjoy that you're getting something, you know? And again, this is my opinion. You don't have to be in with it or whatever. But it that's that's what I do. I just don't go into it with expectations. And when you do that and you just let it all go, you you enjoy it. You have fun with it. And that's what it is for me. I just enjoy the show. I don't I don't hold it up to some mythical standard. And they have a good time with it. And if you, hey, if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm okay with that. 
but I don't like it when people shame someone going, well, that shows a piece of crap. You shouldn't be watching it. Well, just because someone enjoys something you don't doesn't mean that you should ruin their experience of life. And that's all I got to say about that. I'm sorry for that rant, but I had to say it. Um, I liked that they used these characters, Man Bull and the Porcupine and the dude that looked like a matador, and it, it was very weird. But it was also funny, too. But it was, it got dramatic there for a bit, but I, I liked it. I, I liked how this show teeters on a dramatic a bit, but also teeters on the comedy, but not as heavily. You know, it's not as as people would say goofy. It's it's done in a way that's okay for me, basically. And I like it. I I do I like the show. It is one of my favorite shows so far. Um, I have a blast with it, and I enjoy it. I just enjoy. It. The experience of watching it and it's a great time you know and to be honest i feel bad for the character of jen that everybody wants this it's like i said with the expectation thing everybody wants she hulk they want something from her they want she hulk no one wants Jen for Jen. And I feel bad for her. I really, really do. I feel bad for that character. And it's kind of sad in a way that she's treated that way. But I think this episode probably helped her deal with that in some ways, you know? And I, I would have to say, I think this is, I like this. This may have been one of my favorite episodes so far. Not like the others, but uh, huh, excuse me. Um, this one, I liked it. I liked it a lot. And um, it was fun and different. You know, it's it wasn't all taking place in in the law office. I liked that it was in different places, and I liked that. You know, you don't expect, you know, an episode to take place in one place, but then it does 180 and does it in another place. I like that you don't expect what's going on. You know, and if you don't like the show, you don't like the show. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to like it. But for those of us who do, you, you, you don't make us feel ashamed that we like it. That's all I'm saying. So, my conclusion is tonight's episode, uh, today's, tonight's, so it's about 3.42 in the morning right now, um, as I'm recording this, uh, the show today was a great one. It was fun. It was different. That's really all I can say. I'm not really good at reviewing. I try. I try my best. You know, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be a professional and, you know, I'm doing this for fun. You know, I'm, I'm giving this a shot. You know, and if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. And like I said before, it's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world if you don't like my opinion or my reviews or my videos it's okay you know i mean there are some who do some who don't it's pretty much okay and i'm okay with that so i want to thank you all for watching please come back again next time for episode eight i think we're down to the last two episodes of she-hulk um, there was a, a 
little stinger at the end that was very interesting. And I'm, I'm interested in seeing where this is going. I mean, there is something going on there. And I like that it's very, very subtle. And it's not out there where you're guessing, oh, this is happening. This is why this is happening. So it'd be very... I'm very interested to see what happens. And, and I hope this show gets either a season two or we see more of um, Jessica Walters in the MCU, in the movies as well. I hope we see She-Hulk as an Avenger at some point. You know? That's me. I hope, and I do really do hope there is a season two because I'm enjoying the hell out of this show. I mean, yeah, there may be only nine episodes, but I would like 22, you know? And I like that it's 30 minutes each. It's in and out. Perfect timing, and it's week to week. Because when it's week to week, you know, you, you get excited for the next week, and I'm always excited every week for the next episode of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. And with that being said, all in all, this was a fun video. And until next time, whoever you go, whoever you are, whatever you do, there you are. And as always, remember, we are all good people. Thank you and have a pleasant tomorrow.